Here we are in the red carpet, Sundance 2014. This is my first time as a filmmaker. When you hear the name Katie Couric, you may still think of the Today Show. I hate my job, Al. Yet Couric hasn't been on morning television since May 2006, and since then has forged the way as the first solo news anchor of a weekday evening program on one of the big three networks. It's been an extraordinary privilege to sit in this chair and a real honor to work with so many talented people. How do you think that uh, we can move forward with women in media and say it's not about what we're wearing, we want to be treated equally as men? People are obsessed with appearance and not only here in this country but all over the world and I think you have to kind of accept it and, and not fight City Hall in some ways but just you know, hopefully minimize it. And as Hillary Clinton said, focus not what's on her head, but what's in her head. Couric left CBS Evening News in May 2011 and moved to daytime talk TV on ABC in September 2012 for her self-entitled series, Katie. In November 2013, Couric was also named the global anchor of Yahoo Online News, where they even let online fans ask the questions. Could you imagine Walter Cronkite on Yahoo? Yeah, if he were alive today, I think Walter Cronkite would want to be on Yahoo. Now, Couric's next project is set to hit the big screen May 9th in a film the food industry doesn't want you to watch fed up. Over 95% of all Americans will be overweight or obese in two decades. We're toast as a country. I approached Stephanie Sotag, our director, and I, she had just done a, a documentary about the bottled water industry called Tapped. And at, I was at CVS at the Evening News at the time, and I said, Stephanie, every other day it seems I'm reporting on childhood obesity. And yet it's, the, it, it's getting progressively worse. And I'm confused. Why is it so bad and what's causing it and what are the ramifications? Would you ever want to tackle that subject? And she said, sure. And here we are three years later. Fed Up pulls back the curtain on the childhood obesity epidemic and it reveals through a group of four children this systematic failure of the government and the food system as a whole in protecting these kids when it comes to their food choices. We could cure 80% of the problem where they prepared the food in the school. Tomato paste is a vegetable, really? Junk food companies are acting very much like tobacco companies did 30 years ago. Couric, along with Fed Up producers Lori David and Regina Scully, followed a group of children and their families over a two-year time span. It was a real shock to me that when we followed these kids into school that they were being served McDonald's and Wendy's and Arby's. The film spends a lot of time documenting how big food deceived the public, strategically intercut with heartfelt personal stories on the uphill battle severely overweight children experience. I am 12 years old and my doctors have said that I am a statistic. We're blaming willpower and it's a crime. I think I had a perception, you know, that the same perception as I think most people do, is that there's a laziness factor and, you know, that's clearly not the case. For Couric and the crew, creating the film completely changed their perception of childhood obesity. The hardest part was seeing how they were trying. I think there's this perception that if you're overweight that you are just lazy and you're not trying. But these kids and their parents were trying. They were anything but lazy. You know, one of our kids swims three days a week. Childhood obesity is a disease and millions of children struggle to lose weight through more traditional methods of dieting and exercise. For me, what was so interesting is these families think that they're doing the right thing. They think they're feeding their kids healthy products. They're buying the low-fat alternatives. They're buying things that say whole grain and fiber on them. So they're trying to do the right thing. If you watch this and you still continue to eat the way you eat, then that's great. That's totally your option. But we've at least taken one step towards leveling the playing field and being able to sort of pull back the curtain on what's really going on with our food system. Fed Up is a movie you want to watch, and it hits theaters May 9th. You have to change the diet of America. It's all preventable. 